Hello and welcome to Adding Site Features. This tutorial is amended from the version that is in the book. I've used a lot of the concepts, but I don't have the textbook project for this. So let's begin and check out what's going on. Here is the project that we'll use, which is our capstone project, which is the club. Just taking a look, I want to let some of you off the hook. This is the from the publisher. And lo and behold, the publisher also has certain mistakes uh, embedded. Why is this flat and then this one is sloped? So you're not the only one who has problems. The file from the publisher also shows unusual conditions. And this is a result of not carefully thinking out the roof structure, in my opinion. But what we want to work on today is getting in a site plan so that we can take some and make renderings and views. But first we need to focus and go to leave this roof plan and go to a portion called the site plan. And we don't need all this material. We don't need the uh, thing, any of these symbols, so we'll turn them off. Right click, hide in view. I'll take the whole category. I don't need the roof cluttering up, so I'll right click and I will turn off hide in view the category. There. So here's a nice clean uh, outline that I can begin with. I will start. I will use some of the Topo Solid tools and they are uh, located, this is kind of in the way, in the massing and site tools under Topo Solid and we're going to use this row here. Now, if Topo Solid were working for me, I would have uh, another bar. Th the missing toolbars are here from the free version. But I'm going to use what I do have. Uh, and here we have our clubhouse. I'm going to use a property line. I'm going to create by sketching. Now, I don't have any true details for the size of our property line, but I am going to make a property line. And most of them, because it is landscape, I will enter, accept that. And then this, this turns into a property line, which gives me a boundary marker. Most of the times, the property lines are not clean squares unless you're in the city. But when you're outside in the suburbs, usually it's a, a plot plan. Looks something like this. And so we'll use it. And this will be my outside perimeter. This will help me lay out things. Now, drawing with the, uh, let's go find the massing inside, the topo solid. I'm going to create from sketch. And I'm going to, I'm going to create some walkways. And then I'm going to take out anything I can and, and do small portions to create, uh, what I will consider the grass. I'm going to start carving out the section that I want to preserve to be a floor plan or possibly uh, on this one I'm going to make a little courtyard and I'm using the four inch concrete pad to kind of be in charge of let's take a measurement here let's get in there because it has to be a closed boundary it looks like it worked Okay, and we'll go ahead and add our floor slab to that. Okay, slab. More work using the floor tool and the concrete slab. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and, and make a little pad here and a walkway to the edge of the property line. So let's add that. Okay, just jumping ahead, I did add something with uh, my own type of design, not completely accurate, uh, but we have to keep rolling. So I have, uh, this is made out of concrete. Let's go ahead and accept it and say yes. And see if it worked. Looks like there's an opening somewhere. So we've got to fix that. Okay, it was added and it looks like it's working out. Let's take a look at the textures and I can see the inside and I have a walkway and I also have the back patio 
So I'm pretty happy with that. Now it's time to start working uh, on the, the grass for this project and also the trees. I'm going to go work in portions. And if you want reference from the book, it's on 9-11, uh, creating the sketching lines and, and using some. So I am using parts of chapter 9. Let's go to massing and site. Let's go to topo solids and then go from, we're going to create the sketch. And then I am going to come in and use my boundary line. No, I'll probably I'll use regular draft line tools. And I'm going to carve this up. You could do it all in one section, but a little off there. Let's let's go back one step. OK, carry on and start carving out. There, so I've made a boundary uh, and I'm going to fill that in with earth. I'm going to accept it. And as you know, I, it looks like uh, a little overlap on the floor, but I'll, I'll go ahead and live with that. That's not too bad. And now I need to find my material topo solid. And here, here's a checkup section. I'm going to go back, choose it. I'm going to edit type. Uh, and I need to go find some grass right now. It looks like our structure. Let's see what we have structure by category. So it's going to be kind of generic and it might be gray. So we want to go and find grass. There's glass glazing, but no grass. So we're going to have to go dig in deeper and we're going to go into our extra materials. We're going to go, this is your asset browser, and sometimes things hide down here. See if there's anything called grass. Do our search. And there is, and there's a few types sometimes. Uh, so, but we'll choose the first one that helps us. And this little arrow means I'm going to, it's going to load. I'll go ahead and choose the grass as it loads. Uh, we can shut this off. We've applied it. We'll say, okay, site grass, and we'll say, okay. And, and now we have something for the topo solid to use. Go OK, and we'll take a look. And we assume that this is now grass. Uh, we can tell with our quick, realistic look. Great. OK, so a little bit dark. We can come in and adjust that to make it a little bit lighter. But we're happy with the result. Let's take a look, see what's going on. OK, so we're starting to carve out and make a space so that we have terra firma uh, meaning the earth and the grass and the walkway so let's carry on and go forward back to site plan uh, back to the simple view okay i'm going to go back into create from sketch and i'm going to pick up my sketch tools and do another section i'll probably just do maybe a chunk here so I'll skip forward, continuing forward, create from sketch. I'm going to use the sketch tools. I'm on the last phase here. I'm just picking up to create my closed operations. And I can still correct these after I have them down, but we just want to get that boundary going. The boundary edge provides a nice a solid base for us to do this. Close, accept. Okay, and so when it, oh, I have a, a hole in here that I'll have to fix. Okay, let's see how I did with realistic. Pretty good, let's check it out in 3D. Well, that's something, and, and I can come in and fix up some of these areas. I can even elevate this pad a little bit. You can see where it wants to come up. If If I have some kind of, the things overlapping i can produce one by sending up the elevation likewise i can kind of send the grass down a little bit if i need to okay let's go take a look and add in some entourage okay we do have some things that we can add we can add side components uh if we do some a few deciduous trees you just choose them and drop them in uh, most of the time developments like this will put the the trees on one flank of the 
windows and you can even alter the tree trees put a little, little bit more natural on this side a little bit more conformed on this side what else do we have okay well we can we can go get more tools we can also load family and we can go to site work site uh, and we have accessories uh, all kinds let's put in a flagpole we want one of those put that right put that it's a good place for it uh what else you got okay go back to load family uh planters take one of those and then of course you want to load more at a time and then maybe some bike stand here in the backyard and I leave it up to you to add and design more things that you might want in a landscape. Landscapes are their own their own thing, so uh, they are also designed. And since we're in a hurry this time, uh, we're going to go ahead and make some uh, calls as to where the trees will go. Take a look at it. It looks like it's working out. Uh, actually, this looks like winter trees, so. Okay, so looking at a couple of different, we'll go to our shaded view, get more of a line drawing. Uh, looks pretty good. And that will help us when we go back to our site plan. And if we should decide to add a camera into our insert. If we go to our views uh, here, and then under 3D view, uh, we can choose our camera. And this is merely capturing the front. And once you lay that down, you can remember to adjust. You can see what you're looking at. You can open up that camera view. And you have a very nice shot of the club. And then you can take save that, take it to the render, which is teapot above. And we can go ahead and do the render it takes a couple moments to render and we can see what our materials ended up looking like not bad for a quick try now remember we're getting into rendering so if you don't get this part that is fine but it, you're learning to work in that landscape into your project so uh, it takes a few tries but you'll get it and it's a little bit more free form it's not as landscape isn't as regulated as architecture per se because <clears throat> there, there's some nuances to it so uh, i hope this helps this took you through chapter nine adding components property lines and like i said if if we had a functioning topo solid uh it would be different uh but think of topo solid is kind of like working with a slab in itself uh, and so i know i'll go back into the lab and i will see those missing tools that i'm looking for this weekend but I'm happy with what I created here. So uh, hope you'll have the same success and hope you'll add some landscape design to your project.